<clears throat> hopefully make the PR next season. Yeah, it's been a fun event so far. We had about 120 some odd entrants today or something like that. With a uh, pretty much a 30% pop bonus added to the... the oh, yeah, thanks to Nairo, right? Yeah, yeah, so Nairo threw in $3 for every entrant we got. So we had about, like, what, 125, 128 entrants today or something like that? It was yeah, 130, one, yeah. yeah. So 130, do the math there, that's almost about 400 bucks in the yeah. pot or something. So somebody who's uh, not too good enough to be on a, an objective piece of information is going to walk home with a lot more money than most <laughs> other people here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the strategy is to not get PR'd this first season so that you can make all the money here, which is what Law is trying to do, is what I was trying to do. So a lot of people are trying to do is just not make the PR so that you can farm this Arcadian <laughs> and make all the money. Yeah, it was ML saying it all week where it's the... the According to plan. That's yeah. like the, the internet <laughs> meme. It's like everyone's like, oh, and I wrote in $3 for every player, 128 player cap. According to plan. Yeah, it would be a shame if I just didn't submit this. Yeah, it would be a shame if I just didn't submit the PR. Yeah, it was ML that was saying it on Twitter uh, like this week or like earlier today where he was like, it's the 2019... MH, uh, NJ's uh, Arcadian featuring the 2016 NJPR. Yeah. So, because, you know. All, Riz came out of literally back from the dead, bro. He hasn't entered a tournament since, like, I want to say, like, the, the second the month of, yeah, the, of the game. Yeah. yeah. Like, since January, I think he hasn't entered a single tournament. But 3.0 is here. Uh, fixed a bunch of stuff. Some stuff that. Uh, we all, as North Jersey chic mains, care about. Yeah. And uh, Riz is back. Or if you like Persona, because uh, Joker yeah. is legal here. I don't think we're going to see Joker at any point. The only person that was using Joker, like said late today, was Zone, and he actually just got eliminated by Kozner, who's going to be sitting down uh, right. Austrian to play against Jet. So we're most likely going to see, uh, as we see on the screen, it's going to be Fox versus Incineroar. So. Right. And, and Kozer also has a wolf. Uh, he's been playing. He's been alternating between the two. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, depending on how game one goes, we'll see if he wants to switch. Jet just plays Incineroar. Yeah, so, pretty much. He is Incineroar. So right now, you're, you're, what you're about to see is the character with the worst walking run speed in Smash history, Incineroar, yes. versus a character that is always top five in terms of just raw speed. Yeah, I um, he was top three in regards. Well, he was like top two in regards to speed. Uh, you know, through life, he's like the first three games, and then Sonic the Hedgehog yes. came around. But Sonic so number one, and Little Mac uh, number two, and then no, Captain Falcon number two, then Little Mac. Yes, yeah. but Fox is still up there, and uh, already Damn. out the gate, uh, that's Ooh, stock in death. Yeah, man, hold, that, that happened like, look at that, 30 seconds into the game, and Sonora took him to 90% and already killed him. Well, that'll happen, man. Like, people, you know, you might not be too familiar with Jet, but like, he was formerly a top player in a game that we're technically not allowed to talk about, but I'm just going to say to him anyway. Yeah. Like Project M, he was a top player in that game yeah. for a long time, but Kuzner, not Ooh. letting that first stock affect him, almost immediately yeah. turned into Kuzner's like, you're, you're a top player when you're above me, and I'm Fox, so that's where I want you. Yeah. <laughs> you could be a top player all you want. I'm this bottom Fox. So keep in mind, <laughs> so keep in mind, we are like, only a minute into the game, and we've almost seen three stocks. Yeah, races, right? and in typical Fox fashion, like, Fox is a volatile character. He is either murdering you or getting murdered. Like, he... Even ever since Melee, even like low tiers and obscure characters always have a good matchup spread. Uh, like they can do stuff against Fox even if they have a bad matchup spread. And, and I so feel like that's, that's like that's what we're watching right now. Yeah. And I was gonna say I feel like that's even more apparent in this game because Fox like lost one of his best tools in being able to side me through your shield. So yeah. he kinda has to wait in line uh, on the ledge like a normal right. character does. And and one of yeah, uh, uh, wow, just calling out that spot dodge there with a nice dash attack. Um the other thing that's interesting is that because Incineroar Incineroar's a true grappler, he's like we've had a lot of pseudo grapplers in Smash history, you have like, oh, wow, Kozer calling out that side B. He's like, yeah, dude, you're done really if nice. you get into hit by this. But we have a lot of pseudo-grapplers. You have Bowser, you have uh, Ganondorf, and you have and DK. But this is a character that's really a grappler. Wow, hitting the side B with the Lariat like that, I didn't even know he can do that. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty crazy. Like, Darkest Lariat is... It beats like, everything. Yeah, it, 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 it beats a lot of moves, and also it stays out for forever, and, like, yeah. even that, like, little bit of movement uh, you have can definitely make or break the difference. But, uh, Kozner with a really risky high recovery right there. But, um, not letting it affect him, and there we go to Darkest Lariat once again, gonna, uh, call out the... Or punish the dash attack that was spot dodged. And there we go. So, game one going to, uh, Jet or Jut depending on how, you know, you go about it.
As Glenn passes off some drug money. Yeah. No, it's a pay change of dollar because I just realized, like, I'm going to need some water to finish this commentary block. Uh, my throat's getting a little rough. But, yeah, I But, yeah, ju- you. Not, not really surprising for me personally because, uh, yeah. you know, Fox is a character that has to get in. Mm-hmm. And historically, like, Fox, even when he wins matchups, he can be really frustrated by grapplers and characters like that. And, like, as you saw... Um, one of the biggest issues for characters like Incineroar is that they can get gimped really easily. Fox is not going off stage. Um, and that's why you saw things like, you know, Nairo going Ganon against Light and stuff. Um, yeah, so Fox not going off stage is a big thing that kind of buffs a lot of bad, traditionally uh, bad or unconventional characters. Yeah. And so, whoa, going back to Battlefield, I'm kind of surprised because I would, I think, I would think that Fox would want a little more space to move around in. But, you know, Battlefield is traditionally his best stage. Yeah, I also feel like that, like, static middle platform was also going to just help Jet as much as it's going to help, uh... Right. Kozner. Just because, like, in- Incineroar's been able to show, and he's been able to, like, shark on these platforms, like, just as well. But, right. once again, going right back to town. Uh, See, and another thing I, I've noticed is that, um, so far, it seems like Kozner is, uh, a little timid to ledge trap Incineroar, which is Fox's real strong suit. And the reason for that is because of that command grab, um, and man, now, is he gonna be gonna make it? Oh, it's trading with that Nair. But yeah, he's letting into uh, Cinemore get off the ledge a little bit and um, fighting him on stage, which is, again, that's where that character shines is Fox ledge trapping. Yeah, but that'll do a good there job go. of getting it done as he just, the simple dash back, forward smash on the... Uh, oh my god. Wow. And Fox, uh, not used to getting back aired by someone else like that. Yeah, like, you don't really realize it. Like, Incineroar obviously, like, hits, like, a, tr- a truck on the ground. But, like, his aerials, like, also hurt, like, really, his, really He hard. has actually some of the best aerials in the game. Um, like we just saw, like, he was getting comboed in that Nair. Really good Nair. Um, oh, wow, he tried to just command grab that Firefox. The, a fun note, like, they buffed the Firefox a lot, like, in terms of the, uh, wow, the, um, up B, the flames around Fox are huge now. So it, it, a lot of times it'll just beat your move or, or stage spike you for trying to get hit um, out of Firefox. You have to be really smart about how you do that. Yeah, so uh, Kozner are just not letting Jet breathe right now. There we go. Wow, that was basically a zero to death, man. That guy was in hit stun until he died. Yeah. Crap. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's you give it and you take it back with Incineroar, man. Like, you're obviously going to be killing people, like, insanely early just because of how strong things like neutral air and, and side B are. But at the same time, you're still this big body, this slow-moving cat, right. you know, thing in the air that does, has a pretty susceptible recovery. But, yeah, and, and uh, Kozer's really adapting well here where he's just, he's playing around Incineroar's active range. Oh, my God, that Nair out of shield almost taking Fox out. That should be a stock, but Incineroar doesn't have a button there, I guess, to cover the uh, Firefox into the stage. Uh, yeah, I think the best button probably would have been drop zone there, but I think Jet was trying to avoid a situation where he, where he trades there. Yeah, because that would have stage spiked, and that's the last thing that he wants. Oh, and Kozer has him back where he wants him. Oh, boy. Incineroar does not like being a top. <laughs> it's not against Fox, man. Yeah, but definitely takes the switch position right there uh, yeah. very nicely. Uh, I, all right, I'm going to give him, like, he has to, like, hit him, like, six more times and he wins the set. Yeah, oh, nice. There go. Drop down, back air, and... Not That's going to be ch- that. Not going to get a chance to see that, though. So. Right. Kozer doing a great job. Like, he actually adapted really well there. And it was the same stage, too. So he kind of just figured out, like, okay, I can dance around this character, and I just have to be a little more careful when I mash on him because his um, combo-breaking moves are pretty good. Like, that Nair stuff that, like, it hit Fox a lot when he was when he thought that he was just going to be juggling a similar one. So... Ooh, okay. And like you predicted earlier, we are going to see the switch to Wolf here, another character that... Uh, Kozner has at his disposal. Very strange that he wants to switch after winning. Yeah, that's an inter- that's an interesting like little strategy there. I feel like it could have been one of those things where he's trying to avoid getting downloaded himself. Right. Like it was very clear that he kind of got the beat on what to do against Incineroar very quickly. Right. So instead of giving you know uh, Jut the opportunity to uh, you know to adapt on his on to Fox, he's gonna give him a different you know uh, taste in Wolf here. Yeah, and and I think the. Having a, a, a projectile with actual hit stun, unlike Fox's laser, um, it means that he's going to be able to camp out this character who cannot approach easier. And also, I think Wolf, he has safer... Uh, oh, wow. He has safer uh, hits where he doesn't have to worry about, like, Nair hitting him out of something. He doesn't juggle you for a very long time. He hits you, like, a lot of stray hits, single hits. Fox hits you, like, 40 times with an up tilt. Yeah, and So, exactly. single more hits you can break out of that. It's, it's a lot more... It's got a little bit more bite to it. Right. Like, it's going to be a, a lot less 
just little hits like you were saying, and a, but a lot, like, the hits are going to mean a lot Yeah, more. exactly. But this back throw is probably going to oh, kill. Oh, that definitely is going to kill. Yeah, in regards to the base knockback, that is uh, the strongest uh, back throw in the game. Oh, really? Even yeah. stronger than Ness's? Yeah. Oh, base wow. damage, I think Ness's, I think, like, in regards to base knockback, I think it's stronger. Wow, and that laser just catching out his jump, and he had no option there. He just a bead into the blast. Yeah, at the end of the day, you're still, you still have one of the worst recoveries in the game. Yeah. So. And, and one of the things I want Kozer to take note of here is that the Lariat is really good at a shield, and it's it's a very good button in general, but there's you can see how much lag he has at the end of that move, and I just want to see him like start abusing that more, because these Lariats are not always connecting, but he's also kind of respecting it a little too much. Right, exactly. And good on him to like roll away uh, from the cross chop right there. It's like, that's an option that I see uh, Jet opt to, to go for a lot where he just kind of like uh, throws it out as a combo breaker because it has iframes on the beginning, uh, like for, for like five or six frames, but that forward smash is going to set up nicely into an edge guard here. Wow, and, yeah, and I, he's dead. Yeah, both of them are dead. And it's funny because I really think, I don't think Incineroar was come making it back after that. Anyway, he looked at, he was way too low to get the angle to snap the ledge, but I don't know. Um, oh, wow, that just, I think that just poked. Like, yeah. That just did so much damage on a shield that the, the, the Lariat poked. Yeah, I think like Lariat does like five hits or something like that, and if they all connect, it'll, it'll like potentially break your shield. Yeah. So. But nonetheless, though, both guys just trying to box it out of neutral right now. Yeah, and this is anyone's game. I mean, uh, the percent means a lot against both of these characters. Oh, wow. Kozer just trying to end it right there with the down air. Oh, my God. This is really scary for him because getting off the ledge can be really hard against the center. Runner. Yeah, you can, like, feel the antsiness kind of coming out from Kozer. He just, it look, he's kind of playing like he just wants the game to be over with. Yeah, I mean, it's this character. Oh, wow. I actually really respect that mix-up. That was definitely very unexpected, but he did get punished for it. And that should be it. Nope, not no. enough just yet. Down smash probably would have killed. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I, I... Oh, what's he gonna do? Okay, that oh, was so smart. Oh my God, he's gonna make that though. Oh no, he's not. And that is game three. But these are best of fives. Yes. This is uh, eights. So. Yes, and all that from an up, you know, a reverse up B that went above the ledge. Right. You know, the well, it's it's that if he holds down, there's like a hitbox that hits you, yeah. and you're supposed to like just hold shield at that point. If oh, you, that's what you're. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, because he wasn't holding shield, it has this, and it, it's just so weird because they programmed it not just to hit you off the ledge, but to kill, almost kill you, shooting you forward like the opposite direction. <laughs> you know what that reminds Hitbox me of? Hitbox makes no freaking sense. That reminds me of like in teams if you get hit by Bowser's up throw in four, where they just send you like hey, the right. impossible angle and you just explode. Oh man, the mix-ups continue, man. Going right back to Fox. Like, maybe it's a stage thing? I don't know. Maybe it, it it's a stage thing. It definitely could have been a stage thing. Yeah. I mean, he's so far he's won games with both Fox and Wolf, so... But yeah, see, see these nares, like every time Fox starts juggling him, he has to worry about getting nared. So, um, these combos are gonna... He's gonna have to scale the combos with the percents better, and just not go for certain combos at zero. So, I also think the stage is definitely gonna benefit Fox better than it would Incineroar, because yeah. Fox is gonna be able to chase in the air a lot better, and I feel like Jet really, like... His ability to like juggle in the air is all going to be dependent on where the platform layout is. And all he's really going to be able to do with these two platforms on the side is like kind of keep Kozner at bay when he tries to get back to the ledge. But right. I feel like in the, in, the, in the thick of things in the middle of the stage, it's probably going to be a better advantage for Fox here. But. Yeah, and I mean, one of the great things is uh, for, oh wow, getting Jeez. an up tilt to back air. What just happened? The front hit of up tilt. Sent him right into back here. That's insane. It's the old habits die hard, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> that still works. But, yeah, we like to call this stage baby's first FD because yeah. it's basically like, oh, look, it's as big as FD, except that now when I went neutral, I don't have to worry about uh, getting off the ledge against somebody because I can just land on this platform and circle cap for, for my life. Yeah, it's like bowling with bumpers on it. Yeah. Pretty much. This is the training wheels FD, man. And Fox, specifically, has a really good time on the stage because it's hard for him. To, he can always tech when someone hits him out of the FB because the stage is all the way down. So it has walls. Side being past the ledge, and that's going to uh, nick shut and give him a chance to uh, get back to center stage. But Kozner's still not out of the thick of things yet. Jut continuing to uh, to play chase here. Yeah, Kozner had a really dominant first dock, and then now he's uh, it's just about even. I mean... You know, a few, one or two command grabs from Incineroar, it really is scary. Yeah, especially if they're like, you know, uh, like prominent in being able to get the uh, the side B conversion, right. like the strong hit. That right. was crazy. Yeah, Kozer uh, missing that earlier, missing that tech with tech chase with up smash, but getting a forward smash later anyway. 
So. Ooh, okay, able to jab through the, the up tilt right there. I guess that swing does not work as, uh, as easily as you would expect. Yeah, see, what we're seeing a lot, like, kind of what I was saying earlier, like, ledge trapping is really hard on the stage because of that platform. Like, Fox is just jumping on this platform, and then Sonora's like, all right, well, I guess I better pray that I get this back here. Good, good stuff from Jet, by the way. That was the second time I've seen him two-frame with down tilt. And he gets the stock off of that. That was, that was great. Yeah, Sonora's down tilt, very, very good at two-framing at the ledge. It's a very, very good move in his neutral kick. Yeah, and if Fox is one of those characters, like, his up doesn't immediately snap, so you get a moment there to maybe hit him. Wow, and look at this damage, man. He he brought this all the way back. Yeah, this is anybody's area is, game. Neutral air is the MVP of this of this uh, game for sure. Yeah, man. Uh, for Jet. Oh boy, getting out of the good job to Jet getting out of that combo situation there. Well, again, the late hit neutral air staying out forever. Yeah, it has a hitbox on the top. Oh my goodness! <laughs> if he just would have let it rip a little bit earlier, both of these guys might be a little bit nervous right now. That up smash definitely set the tone, man. Somebody's this might be it right here. Nope. That very oh, oh, that's wow. unfortunate. Yeah, and it, people are just living forever on this stage. This is insane. Next strong hit probably wins. There we go. That was yeah. one of the best close-ups I've ever seen. <laughs> it was like he just did the bane, like he just did the bane, like oh your body, <laughs> and just broke him, bro. He just broke Fox on his back, man. I was raised by the counter. Or perhaps you'd like me to up throw oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> I was raised by it, molded by it. You only adopted the up throw. <laughs> I was born in it. <laughs> Dude, pain, man. Oh, man. I just keep thinking of that gift that we keep using in the group chat. From now on, yeah. Jut needs to put his in game tag as Bane every time. <laughs> That's Incineroar, man. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. Going back to Battlefield. Okay. And uh, if I'm correct, okay. Is uh, this game five now? Yes. So Jut won game one on um, on Battlefield, and then yes. Kozer won game two and game three, and then Jut won game four. Right. Okay. Because he won with Wolf, and he won uh, won on Battlefield. With Math is hard. It's been a long day today for sure. Oh yes. Nonetheless, though, Battlefield will be the stage of this final game here. Uh, winner goes on with a date with the law. Uh, okay, great. So this will be fun. And once again, a lot of the same from what we saw earlier on FD. But now that the tables have turned, and now uh, a Jet is the one sharking into the platforms. And Kozer back in his oh, advantage. Oh, man. I, I just can't believe that that Nair traded, and he went so much further than Fox went. Man, and that buffer. It looked like a buffered air dodge there. Uh, taking out his first stock by accident. Yeah, you hate to see that sort of thing happen. But let's see uh, what the rebound is. As long as, you know, Jet's able to close the gap before things get too out of hand, because it is Fox. Yeah. That is very capable of happening. You know, it's okay. I feel like it's it's a, it's all right to be in a deficit as long as we have the means to close the gap before things get crazy. And there wow, we go. that up B out of shield calling out Fox's jump, and he died for it, bro. Incineroar's kind of hype, I'm not going to lie, Yeah, the, uh, This is cool. Cross chop with a high critical hit ratio, and that hit was definitely critical. Yeah, right. Though, so. Is that really cross chop? Yeah, that's cross chop. Oh, that's let's what go. is. Oh, no, is that? Okay, Ooh. all right, all right. Yes, yeah, so you nice. you don't realize how like high the vertical height on that is until you like see what it used to look like. Yeah. They like doubled the height at which that goes vertical. Right, it's right. Insane. Yeah, man, oh, my God. And I mean, good stuff to Jet here because like I feel like every time I'm watching, like I take note of the, the early percents, he's really behind, but he keeps his composure and brings it back and I think you know Captain Kozer it gets it can be a little scary once Fox starts getting like hit yeah. really hard oh my goodness that oh, command grab reversing the rolls but he misses the the uh, timing on it I was gonna say I bet he definitely did that on purpose the miss the timing yeah I've seen wow. like I've seen in Cinema Remains do that if a, if a character has like a really linear recovery they'll purposely like drop the combo to force them to drop uh, oh wow you know? that would have been really great oh, yeah okay but I don't think he was at a high enough percent where he would have gotten, like, he was forced to, like, up the side of the Oh, either. my God. And oh! Let's go. Oh, my God, man. Kozer tried to give him with the shine, and he responded back with a downer spike, man. Yeah, from the top rope. And now this is really not out of his... This is not out of uh, reach for, for um, Judd. No. He can definitely do this. I mean, look at this damage, bro. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, but smart from Kozer to roll behind the Lariat as he approached forward, so it would have saved him the pain of getting hit by that anymore. But now we're going to see Fox's ledge trapping 101 uh, coming out again. Let's see what he does. Yeah. Fox is to get out of this advantage. Oh, man, Kozer with a brilliant 
gimp there doing that reverse nair that was really smart because after he did his side b he had to up b and he just hit him out of it immediately yeah, so. no, that was smart. And he hadn't I don't think he did that the entire set. No. Like you saw multiple times when he would drop below drop zone from the ledge to try right. to edge guard him, he'd go for shine. That time he went for the nair. Right. And unfortunately for Jet, he just wasn't in a position to react to that. So. Yeah, he just needed to force him to to recover from far away so that he had to use his resources and yep. then he can just get neared. Um and, and like I said earlier, you know, a lot of times these characters like fighting Fox because Fox is one of the few top tiers that he doesn't go off stage to gimp you. No. But that Kozer just showed us like, hey man, I could still do that. Like, yeah. I could just run off and nair you, and you might just die. So 